Two rounds, really confident, a really good stoppage. Another champion, you've got to be happy with that. I'm pleased with my performance. Um, I was expecting to get a mark, I was coming for the stoppage. Um, yeah, he was, I expected him to nervously sharp the three rounds, a bit messy, a bit, a bit spoiler, you know, trying to hold and trying to, trying to throw from all different kind of angles on the retreat. And I thought it was going to be a bit sticker, as you say, but um, I, th I find I slowed him down and made him box at my pace, picked the shots I wanted to pick. And at the end of the first round, I uh, caught him with a big shot. Uh, Dominic said, just t Dominic said, take your time, you know, it's a 10 round fight, you've got plenty of time, just keep doing what you're doing, you're nice and relaxed. I fainted him, I was southpaw at the time, called a dip faint, dip fainting and then went to my, my backhand and my left my left hand and uh, yeah, and then hurt him, seeing him was hurt, so it's boxing, uh, he had to go I guess. At the end of the first round, you caught him with a solid shot, it looked like he wobbled back to his corner, is that something that you picked up on? Yeah, Dominic picked up on it straight away. You know, I hurt him, but you know, you can't be reckless. You've got like four minutes to recover, so take your time, come out and act as if nothing's happened. But uh, yeah, if he was hurt when he came back out, I would have seen it. He kind of did recover through the round, but then I caught him with that big shot at the end of the second, towards the end of the second, and uh, yeah, I jumped on him, and he was in no position to continue. The ref could have maybe let him continue, but what's the point? He would have been going anyway. How did you feel in there? How did you feel in yourself? You know, I felt sharp, strong. Uh, my last fight was all endurance work, so it was very boring, like I said before. So I made the weight really easy because of all the endurance work, you know, I shrunk down a little bit. The weight was really easy. This time, it was all strength work, all power work, all explosion, all explosive work. The weight was a little bit harder to make. Once I made it, I refueled, I rehydrated, and tonight I felt strong, sharp, and ready to explode like I should have been in uh, everything went to plan. Before the fight, you've been looking really strong in your training. As you were warming up, you looked solid on the pads as well. Could you feel the confidence? Yeah, you know, as you do, you get a few nerves uh, going in, warming up, so it's hard to gauge yourself until you actually get in there and that bell goes and you switch on. But uh, when that bell went and, and I come out, I knew I, knew I need to dominate, I need to, I need to make sure he knows that I'm the boss here. And uh, that's what I did. I started going downstairs and letting him know. And uh, yeah, I just felt at home in there. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the How did it feel being able to dominate an opponent, being able to be physically that much stronger than him? Yeah, you know, it's come down from super featherweight and someone said to me the other day, you know, he's, he's going to be a little bigger than you. I just stopped him dead and said, listen, he's not going to be bigger than me. He thinks because I've come up from super bantamweight, I used to, it was so hard to me that way. And at featherweight now, I'm still a massive featherweight, you know, I still punch really hard with both hands and uh, if he's coming down to featherweight, I'm, I'm probably one of the biggest there is, you know, you're not going to be much bigger than me unless you absolutely kill yourself from it the week. So I knew he wasn't going to be bigger than me, I knew he wasn't going to be stronger than me, so it's a case of showing it on the night. And uh, the main thing tonight was, I said I wanted to express myself and box how I wanted to box and uh, that's what I did. And you feel that you've, you delivered that? Yeah, I enjoyed myself, really enjoyed myself. So featherweight, we've said it's your weight, another belt round, the old waist. Yeah, Midlands title. I never really dreamed about winning a Midlands title, but it's a great, uh, a great platform to push on from. And you know, it's got 91 years of history next to next year this belt has. So you know, it's some, something else I've got there. Something nice for the cabinet. That's it. Yeah. And uh, moving on from here, where where is it you want to obviously stay at featherweight? Yeah, I'm staying at featherweight for uh, the future, and uh, I'm not sure what's going to be next. My, do my manager and that Dominic King or John Ingle, uh, they'll know sort something out, but it's going to be that level now, British Commonwealth or, or above, you know, it's going to be that level. We'll see what they come up with. Um, open to offers as always some different promoters and uh, see what happens. We've said this year titles, is this the first of many? Yeah, this is going to catapult me now into the mix of the bigger ones, so uh, it's, it's served its purpose, as I, as I say, served its purpose and uh, bigger and better things to come and hopefully by summer I'll uh, you know, rip some from someone else. And is there anything that you'd like to say to the fans that came and supported you tonight? Uh, massive thank you for everyone travelling. Uh, my support's always growing and getting bigger. And when, I, when I'm boxing in Nottingham now, my phone goes mental. Everyone knows I'm fighting and uh, you know, I appreciate every single message I get, every single like I get, everyone phone calls and I see them in the street. Or I'm out running, someone pulls the car over now, you know, it's brilliant. So uh, just thanks for getting behind me as always, Nottingham.